Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today in this video, we're gonna go over how to put the panel in configuration mode when adding a remote enunciator to the system. We're also gonna go over how to address the remote enunciator once the panel is in configuration mode. We're going to start by locating the J1 jumper on the motherboard of the Firelink panel. And we're gonna take this jumper from the top two pins and move it down to the bottom two pins. This jumper is also commonly referred to as the config jumper. Once this jumper is down on the bottom two pins and the panel is in config mode, we're going to remove over to our remote enunciator to address it. Once we are at the remote enunciator, we're gonna to have to wait for it to say 01 at a system. All of our remote enunciators come factory addresses number one, but that address has been taken up by the control panel on the keypad enunciator. We can force the keypad out of system by holding down the one, two, and three key at the same time to do a force reset. The process takes a few seconds. Now we can see that the keypad enunciator is out of system. Now to address it, you're going to press the keys one, 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 two, three, and then the menu key. And we're going to keep pressing the menu key till we see keypad address. Now we're going to give this the next available address, in this case, which would be number two. So we're going to press zero, two, and then hit the enter button to save the entry. Now we're going to hit the reset button to get out of the keypad config mode, and now you can see it went from 01 out of system to 02 out of system. Now once this is done, you can go back to your FACP and take it out of configuration mode, unless you have more than one enunciator, and you would just repeat this process. These same steps can also be used for addressing keypads and enunciators on the GEMC commercial fire system. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.